All right, what is up? This is Slow Plays back from our Dragon Ball Fusions for the Nintendo 3DS. So today, guys, I welcome you back to another hilarious episode of the Will It Fuse series, my friends. Today's episode is going to be a little bit more comical and hysterical than usual because we had a request that's been going on for months now since I started the series. Uh, people have been requesting Will It Monaka or Monica, however you want to pronounce his name. I think it's supposed to be like Monaka or something like that. It's such a weird character and his design and concept. If you haven't seen him, he's from Dragon Ball Super. He was featured within the Universal World Tournament Saga where it was Beerus versus Champa, Universe 6 versus Universe 7. And we had Monaka as the homie that came through and pretty much won the tournament for them. If you haven't watched that episode or that entire saga or series with Dragon Ball Super yet, please go and check it out. It's going to be hilarious. So, Will at Monaka, we're going to find out today. Before we get started, my friends, do me a huge favor and hit that like button. Let's try to reach 15 likes on this video. That would be amazing and I'd really appreciate it. Plus, shows that you guys want to see more Dragon Ball Fusions content on this channel, as well as a continuation of the Will It Fuse series. So, for this character, it's going to be a little bit difficult. I was thinking either off-world or alien, but I think the alien will work out the best just because with the facial features and everything for this character, it works out. He's pretty much pink. He's got large ass nipples, which is the best trait. It's called like the Grand Ponta or Ponca or something like that. Something that started with a P. It was hilarious. And uh, we're going to go for the height here at a very, very small, short stature because, you know, that's kind of how he is. And for the voice, I'm thinking maybe voice number nine. I don't know what his Japanese uh, VA was supposed to be like. But uh, definitely for the English one, which that's kind of why I'm doing this episode today, is because the most recent episode of the English dub showcased him and, uh, you know, just him as a delivery man. I'll, I'll just say that much if you haven't seen it. So we're going to go for just a bald look here. Nothing too complicated. Hair color, um, obviously, we're not going to really change the hair color too much because definitely for the facial features, we want to go for, I believe, number five, which is actually Guldo's face. But it works out. It's, you know, pretty mad. And uh, he doesn't have eyebrows in any or anything like that. He actually has two uh, little dots for his nostrils. But that's pretty much all we got going on for that. For the skin tone, uh, it's going to be extremely, extremely prevalent that we go for this one right here, which is the sort of pink salmon color. That's more of what Monaka is supposed to be. He's got more of a salmon color, not really necessarily that much like, like hot pink, I guess. <laughs> not like rosé, you know, style. But for the eye color, we're just going to go for black here because he does have black eyes. So if you can actually see that, it's sort of looking like him right now, except for, you know, the ass head and the freaking veins, you know, just kind of going through or whatever. I don't even know, dude. It looks so bad. But uh, for now, we're going to go for, uh, I guess, top color. Just get that clean green color as well as the bottom. And then we'll move into a fusion booth and see if we can actually make this. So I know right now it doesn't look exactly like him, but at least we got the face down. Everything else needs to be changed and uh, completely fulfilled in order to make Monaka. All right, my friends. So I think I might be just a little bit insane for wanting to try this out. But, you know, we got to take risks within the series. And we're going to try and fuse with Deborah. So we're going to get Monaka, fuse with Deborah, and hopefully attain those devil horns. I know he doesn't have horns, but he has pointed ears. And the ears he currently has right now are actually more of a cylindrical type. It's not good. I don't like that. It's no bueno, no wang. We cannot have that, my friends. We got to have some kind of pointed look. And, uh, you know, this will take away from those weird looking, I guess, veins on the back and on the front, as well as the dick ass head look. So hopefully this will make him look more like Monaka. We're going to find out right now, my friends. Please, gods above, make the legendary Monaka the savior of Universe 7. Are we getting this shit? We're getting it. Yes, my friends. Okay, okay. This ain't too bad. This ain't half bad at all. I was expecting as much. I know his ears are still going to be there, but at least we have the points, you know, for, you know, Monaka's ears that are supposed to be a little bit more pointed, you know, they're really long and everything, not like Deborah level long where they're like sticking out like freaking dog ears or some shit, but this looks pretty good. Uh, he does have a little bit of a hairline going on, but at least it, you know, transformed to pink, so it's not too weird, but we can teach him some cool moves like the evil sword attack and it's always nice to fuse with the character. I tried for about 30 minutes fusing with other characters to see if it would work. Uh, unfortunately, you cannot obtain the ears of other characters. You're always going to maintain the same ears from the base of the custom character. And that's how we learn. That's how we learn a little bit more with this series. And we can you know, try and make these fusions much better. So I think overall, this looks pretty damn good. If we just look at him right now, if we can actually bring him up. 
All right, my friends, so we have made it back over to the changing room, and holy shit, this is hilarious. I am loving what I am seeing right now. So, unfortunately, we cannot get his exact head shape and the exact ears and everything, but this is probably the closest we can get to making Monaka because Monaka has his own costume within this game. Shoutouts to just all the companies and, I guess, game developers for Dragon Ball Fusions for incorporating this legendary character's costume in here. It's hilarious. I know the neck's a little bit weird because it's supposed to be, like, you know, a costume that you put on, kind of like in the latest episode of Dragon Ball Super where I think it was that one chick, that one assistant from Hercule, she was wearing a Monaka costume because he wanted to, like, promote him or something like that. But this looks hilarious, and I am loving it. Yeah, just don't mind the weird hairline thing. I think it works out with the little devil horns, but uh, let me know if you were able to make Monaka yourself and make a better version. It's just the ears that really bug me. I wish they were pointed, but, uh, you know, we're going to have to get it with a little bit of a replacement for the horns. Hopefully, this works out pretty well. I think it Monaka's, I would say, about, like, 75%, you know, at least that much. You know, usually I'm like, okay, it's like 100% with it, but this is awesome. I'm glad we were able to make this character. It looks hilarious. Let's go ahead and use this character in Universe 17. See you guys back over there. The legendary nipple warrior of Universe 7 has joined forces with Goku, Vegeta, Supreme Kai, and Goten for whatever reason, and we're gonna fuck some shit up. So, oh my goodness, this is hilarious. I am so happy we have finally tried to make this character. I was kind of hesitant on trying to make him just because it would be really difficult. His overall character design is pretty damn basic, but the problem within this game is that we're very restricted to what we can do. Plus, with the facial features and everything, like, you see how his face, it's not as rounded and, you know, his ears are completely different. Well, that's just how the cookie crumbles. That's probably the best we could have done. But uh, overall, I think it turned out pretty damn well. It's Monaka, dude. It's fucking Monaka. <laughs> so we have Melee at 1527, Keyblots at 961. Our special moves are pretty dope. We have the Darkness Breaker, Magical Thunder, and the Evil Sword Attack. I know he never used any of these, but I just want to try out Magical Thunder for now, if we can actually use it. Or actually, you know, hold up. Evil Sword Attack might be a little bit better because this one isn't a close range, like super close range move. You can go and just slap him around. I mean, it is, in a sense, a stick that he uses, but it's all good. We do 15k. Oh my goodness. What the hell? I'm loving it. I'm loving it already. Monaka, my dude, where did you pull out a stick? From your ass, bro? You got some, like, sticks in your ass? Like, come on, man. We're all about it. We're all about it. All right, Supreme Kai, we need to get his butt out here and hopefully give a little bit of a speed shout, you know, speed boost or even a key pass. What does this dude even have? I've used him so much. Okay, he's got a speed boost. So we're going to go ahead and hook a brother up. Get on over there, my friend. Ooh, very nice. This is what I like to see. So we're going to go ahead and charge up a key with my man, and I'll see you guys back over there. All right, my boy is back. So now we're going to try a little bit of a key blast just to get a little bit of damage off and get more in a closer range with these characters because unfortunately the magical thunder you have to be like right next to them in order to use it so hopefully this won't you know bite us in the ass later and then i want to use the darkness move that actually taught him for no reason at all again all these moves are just random it's just whatever he could learn from that fusion with the so that's why i kind of wanted to fuse with a character that was pretty powerful and had some really unique moves so the Bora worked out and you know he's pink too so you know, he got the color, maintained everything. Everything worked out pretty well. It ain't too shabby. It ain't too shabby at all. But Goku, my man, getting destroyed here. But yes, the nipples, I'm telling you, nipples equal power, my friends. Like, you don't understand. That's where all his power is coming from. The reason why it's all central and centrified around that vicinity on his body. So we're going to go for another key pass here and get my man ready to go. And we're going to try out all these sick moves. Yo, it is time! We can finally use it. I'm pretty sure we are close enough. Let's try out this Magical Thunder. Yes, close range. We can get two characters. I want to see it. Yes! Monaka with the fucking magic! My man's looking like Harry Potter. Wingardium Leviosa, bitch! Look at that! <laughs> that was fantastic. Alright, we got one more move that we have to showcase. If I don't showcase this move, I think this is a failure of a fusion. Seriously, like this move is going to be so dope. Just to see his dumbass face and his character using some kind of like dark demonic move, it's going to be fantastic. You guys are in for a treat. The homie Monaka is a delivery man, and he's about to deliver that ass whooping. You ready for this shit? Let's go for the Darkness Breaker. The power does 1120 around the enemy and a guard down chance. Oh my god, we can get everybody in one fell swoop. Let's do it. We're going to focus and fixate ourselves on Narmus here. That's even her name. There's Narmus, there's Panna, 
There's freaking some guy that says cast away. Oh shit, look at this, yo! <gasps> Darkness Breaker, bitch! Oh my god, that's the first time I've seen this move. And that is so dope! That did 100k?! Monaka? Are you the truth, homie? Is this man the truth? You ain't a liar, but I ain't calling you a truther. What the fuck? What the? <laughs> oh my god. I think it Monaka's. I'm just gonna say it. I don't care, dude. 75%, 50%. At this point, he used some kind of fucking move that did over 100k, 200k damage total. And we got 100k EXP from that one little just move that we used. Are you freaking kidding me? I love this game. I love Will It Fuse. Do you guys love this series? Because this is amazing right now. All right, my friends. So that is going to do it for today's Will It Fuse episode. Thank you all so much for watching. I truly, truly appreciate it. If you guys have enjoyed the entire series so far, smash the like button on all the videos and this video in particular. And if you guys want to see more Dragon Ball Super Will It Fuse characters, let me know as well. There are a plethora of characters that we can try out, especially from the Tournament of Power. I was thinking maybe even like Brian de Chateau or Ribrian or whatever, probably in her human form just because everyone hates her so much. I think that'd be a funny video to do. But let me know in the comment section what you guys want to see. Like a comment if somebody has a, I guess, selection that you think would be cool for the Will Fuse series. And recommend any new Freeform Fusion series for Street Pass. And that is pretty much going to do it. There is your Monaka. And I will talk to you guys in the next one. Take care.